Good morning. Praise be to God. We give God all the glory and honor and praise. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that this is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We thank you for the peace of God, the presence of God, the power of God flowing mightily across the land, across the world. Father God, across the universe, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you and we exalt you. We stand firm in your promises and after we've done all the stand, we stand. We praise you for your word, hallelujah, operating in our lives. We thank you that we are called to study, to show that self-approval unto God, a workman needing not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We thank you, Father God, for the peace of God, the presence of God, the power of God flowing like never before in the lives, hallelujah, of the believer. We pray for souls to come in to your kingdom from the north, south, east, and west. We pray it is your will that none should perish, and we stand firm on your word and trust that you're moving mightily on our behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank God for another day. We thank God for the peace of God, the presence of God, and the power of God. Hallelujah. Victory is in Christ Jesus. We have to read God's word, study God's word, and after we've done all the stand, we stand on God's promises and continue to stand, but we have to know what God's promises are says and it's about a personal relationship how are you going to hear some powerful word going across how they the country today and we just thank god for the men of god the women of god the children of god operating in hallelujah but it's a personal relationship you gotta go back and you have to know him for yourself so you have to read you have to study and that's what i want to encourage you to do is read Every time I've come on uh, into your homes or wherever you may be, I want you to understand that there is nothing that will replace our personal relationship with Jesus Christ, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But we have to read for ourselves. Uh, Bishop, I don't know how to read. There's technology. Thank God for technology. Even if you did not know how to read, you can listen, you can hear through technology, and you can follow along, hallelujah. And as you do so, the Holy Spirit will continue to lead and guide you into all truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are in Psalms 119, praise be to God. And we're going to start at the 54th verse. We went over this on last week. Those of you who have been reading it, I know you're excited about what you've been reading. Some of you have gone on a read ahead of time. That's beautiful. But you have to stay on the job. What's the job? Reading God's word, studying God's word. Hallelujah. Meditating on God's word. You have to stay seasoned. Seasoned in what? The things of God, the word of God. You have to know what Jesus is saying through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank God for his word, yeah, but it's not enough for you to be excited about what somebody else has said. You need to have this personal walk with him yourself, amen? And one of the ways is, hallelujah, first of all, accept him as your savior. If you have never given your heart over to Jesus Christ, invite him in. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. If thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that he died and rose from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Won't you give your life over him today? Dear Heavenly Father, come into my heart. Just come on with me. Dear Heavenly Father, come into my heart. I believe that you died on the cross and that you rose from the dead. I believe that you are the soon coming king. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart today. I confess you with my mouth. I believe in my heart that you are my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for coming into my life. I receive it now in Jesus' name. It says, as many as receive him, to them gave me power to become sons of the Most High. We're sons and the daughters of the Most High God. As many as receive him, to them gave me power. Did you receive him just now? Have you received him? And I thank God for you who've given your life over Jesus Christ. The other thing is you have to go back and study. 
they have fellowship with the believers. But after you walk away from the fellowship, hallelujah, you stay in God's word. You go back and read for yourself. Hallelujah. Go back and turn on whatever sources you 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 use to help you understand or read. Go back and read it. Praise be to God. Meditate on my word day and night. And observe to do all according that is written therein. And then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. <laughs> Pray what a mighty God we serve. Let's go to Psalm 119 starting at the 54th verse. Now you're going to go back home and read. You're going to go back and study. You're going to go back and meditate on God's word. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 119 verse 54. It reads like this, your statutes, your words have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. Hallelujah. Walking around, going around, trying to figure out what's happening. Hallelujah. But guess what? You have God's word. Hallelujah. On your heart and in your mind, your body and soul have been my pilgrimage as I travel, as I explore. Hallelujah. Thank God for God's word leading me and guiding me into all truth. I have earnestly remembered your name. His name is above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we uh, stand on God's promises, when we remember his name, we're not just saying uh, we remember who Jesus is. We remember, hallelujah, that he's Jehovah Nissi's, our banner of victory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He's Jehovah Shalom. He's our peace. This is who we are. This is what we talk about when we say we remember your name, O oh Lord, in the night. And I have observed your law. This I have had as a gift of your grace and, hallelujah, as my reward. Huh? As your grace and as my reward. I know we have to talk about our reward in a sweet by and by. But I'm here to tell you, God has rewards for us here in the now. Amen. We thank God that soon and very soon we are going to see the king. No more crying there, no more dying there, no more lying there. Praise be to God. But God wants to give us peace in the midst of the storm here. God wants to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus here. Praise be to God. It says, uh, your grace and has my reward. Verse 56, this I have had as the gift of your grace and as my reward that I have kept your precepts, hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying them. That's not enough to just say, I heard it. Are you hearing? It's, it's a continuous thing. Receiving as many as receive him to them gave me power to become sons, loving. God so loved the world world that he gives unto God the Son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, hallelujah, obeying them, hallelujah, to hear them, hallelujah, to receive them, hallelujah, it's also vital that you, what, obey them. Verse 57, you are my portion, O Lord, I have promised to keep your words, hallelujah. I have promised to keep your words. How do you keep God's word? First of all, by studying God's word, by knowing God's word, by allowing the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, to speak to your heart. You're sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is saying. And as the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart, you still have, hallelujah, choice. Hallelujah. God doesn't make you do anything, but you are to choose ye this day who you'll serve. Hallelujah. You ought to know, praise be to God, that God has given us a free will to make a decision. Amen. But his word is so powerful that if you would read God's word and you would study God's word, you will begin to understand and see that there's only one way. 
Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. We are trying to get around things and do things in so many different avenues we're taking. When in fact, if we would just stand on God's promises, trust him, hallelujah, and allow him to lead you. They used to sing a song, let Jesus lead me. Let Jesus lead you. Hallelujah. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He's a mighty good leader. You remember that song? Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you all the way. All the way from. You remember that song? Earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. And then they say, then they would say, uh, uh, he led my mother. He led my mother. And, and, and we're going, let my father, and pray, let him lead you. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. He says, I entreat your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful and gracious to me according to your promises. According to you, listen, according to your promise, you need to know what God's promises are. Listen, I entreat your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful and gracious to me according to your promises. God's promises are his words. His word, you have to read his word. Know what he promised. Know what he said is good to hear somebody else tell you what God said, but there's nothing like you knowing for yourself. He says, I consider my ways, huh? I consider my ways. When the last time you considered your ways? You're making decisions. Have you thought, have you stopped and considered what effect it's gonna have on you physically, personally, but more importantly, Spiritually, I consider my ways. I turn my feet to obey your testimonies. I turn my feet to obey your testimonies. You have to know what God's word is saying. You have to read God's word. What are you obeying? You have to obey God's word according to the truth. He says, I made haste and delayed not to keep your commandments. Boy, time is running out. Jesus is the soon coming king. Let him in now. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open the door, hallelujah, and let me in. The guy come in. I'll come in and sup with you. Praise be to God. You have to let him in. Praise be to God. I made haste and delayed not to keep your word. Time is running out. It's so important, praise be to God, that we are on God's timeline. Hallelujah. How do you get on God's timeline? By standing on his promises, reading God's word. Hallelujah. Believing God is who he says he is and that he is soon to come. Hallelujah. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Hallelujah. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. As you begin to understand God's commandments and God's promise to love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, love your neighbor as you love yourself. I mean, it, it goes on and on and on as to what God, hallelujah, has called us to do as believers. I made haste and delayed not to keep your commandments. Hallelujah. This is, this is, this is so important. The time is so valuable. That's why I said, again, choose ye this day, today. Let him come into your heart today. Invite him in your heart today. Read his word today. Stand on his promises today. Find out what his commandments says, what his word says and obey them through the power of the Holy Spirit. See, it, 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 we are strong, but it, we're strong in the Lord and the power of his might, not our own strength. He says, I made haste 
Hallelujah. It's important that you hurry. It's important that you make a decision today. Make haste. Make, make a decision today. Invite If you haven't already invited them in today, haste now. This moment, this second, haste right now. Allow them to come. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, come into my heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe you died on the cross. I believe that you're the soon coming king. Come into my heart now. And begin to read God's word and study God's word and stand in the fellowship, hallelujah, and stand on his promises. Delay not to keep your commandments. Delay not to keep his commandments. Mm. Do the cords of the wicked have its clothes? Though the cords of the wicked have enclosed and watch this, ensnared me, I have not forgotten your laws. Though the cords of the wicked have enclosed and ensnared me, I have not forsaken your laws. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteousness and your righteous ordinance. Hallelujah. I will rise. I will get up. Hallelujah. Up out of a slumber. You know, we get into a slumber and, and we forget. Uh, you know, we, we sleep on the things of God. We're not just talking about getting up out of the bed at midnight. We're talking about getting it up out of the things of uh, doubt. Confusion and deception and lies. Hallelujah. Midnight, I will rise and give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinance. We know what God's word says. Praise be to God. And we stand on God's promise. We don't allow the situations and the circumstances to overtake us, to cause us to walk in fear and confusion and doubt. Amen. It says, I am a Companion of all those who fear, reverence, and worship you, and of those who observe and give heed to your precepts. Hmm? The earth, O oh Lord, is full of your mercy and loving kindness. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt well with your servant, O oh Lord, according to your promise. Teach me good judgment, wise and right discernment. And knowledge, for I have believed, trusted, relied on, and clung to your commandments. Before I was afflicted, hallelujah, I went astray. But now, your word, do I keep hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying? That word that I have, have I hid in my heart, hallelujah, is in God's Word that we live and stand. Listen what it says. Before I was afflicted. Hallelujah. I went astray. Hmm? But now. Somebody say but now. Your word do I keep hearing. I keep receiving. I keep loving. And I keep obeying it. Praise be to God. Look at verse 16. You are good and kind and do good. You are good and kind and do good. You are good and kind and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant and godless have put together a lie against me. But I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. I leave challenge is they are going to come. We're going to be faced with all kinds of challenges and different things, people are going to come against us. But, listen what it says. I will keep your precepts. When all these things begin to happen, what will I do? I will keep your precepts. Hallelujah. Not just keep your precepts, but watch this. With my whole heart, with my all my being, my spirit, my soul, and my body, I will keep your precepts. It says, verse 70 of Psalms 119, their hearts are as fat as grease, their minds are dull and brutal, but I delight, what? In your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, 
that I might learn your hallelujah statutes. The law from your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands have made me cunningly fashioned and established me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who reverently and worshipfully fear you will see me and be glad because I have hoped in your word and tarry for it. Hallelujah. I have hoped in your word and I tarried for it. I spent time in the fellowship. I spent time trusting and believing you. Listen, your hand has made me cunningly fashioned and established me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who recently and worshipfully fear, you will see me and be glad because I have hoped in your word and tarried for it. Verse 75 of one Psalms 119 says, I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Hallelujah. Let, I pray you, your merciful kindness and steadfast love be for my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercy and loving kindness come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame for they dealt, hallelujah, perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who reverently and worshipfully fear you turn to me and those who have known your testimonies let my heart be sound sincere wholehearted and blameless in your statutes that i may hallelujah not be put to shame my soul languishes and grows faint for your salvation but i hope in your words my eyes fell, watching for the fulfillment of your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a bottle, a wineskin, blackened and shoveled in the smoke in which it hangs. Yet do I not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant, which he must endure? When, you, when will you judge those who pursue and persecute me? The godless and arrogant have dug pitfalls for me. Men who do not conform to your law. All your commandments are faithful and sure. The godless pursuit and persecute me with falsehoods help me Lord, you can call on him in the time of need. There's so many challenges and so many things that we face. But the writer always directed us back to who? God's word. Some of you feel that you are uh, being persecuted, being challenged in so many ways. Hallelujah. And the truth of the matter is you are. Satan has his cohorts. And his job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And anything that you possess and trust and believe and love, hallelujah, he attacks, hallelujah. But one thing that he cannot cause, hallelujah, a disruption in unless you allow him. He could disrupt your uh, things and, and cause certain things to happen, but he cannot take your peace. Hallelujah. He's Jesus has given us peace because of the blood of Jesus Christ. He is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. And he promised to never leave us or forsake us. He promised to supply all of our righteous need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So when we hear the challenges and we are faced with all the 
things that we just read, how the enemy, hallelujah, comes in and begins to uh, cause and wreak havoc in our lives. He does not have the right to do that. Hallelujah. We have the greater one. And the Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. So yes, into each life, some rain is going to fall. Into each life, there's going to be some challenges. Into each life, the enemy is going to rise, raise up against us. But God will raise up a standard against him. Because greater is he that's in us. We, the things we just read, hallelujah, out of the Psalms and all the challenges that's being faced, praise be to God. Listen, he says, you are good and kind. Hallelujah. Do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant and the godless have put together a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Hear that? The arrogance and the godless have put it's going to be some folks putting some things together against you. It says in verse 70, their hearts are as fat as grease. Their minds are dull and brutal. But I delight in your law. Hallelujah. To hear that. Hallelujah. It is good for me that I, verse 71, have been afflicted that I might learn your statutes. Anybody feeling afflicted right now? Anybody's having a challenge right now? Praise be to God. What do you do? Some say, let me just throw up my hand and give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give in. Stand on God's promises. Hallelujah. He says their hearts are as fat, verse 70, as grease. Their minds are dull and brutal. But I, hallelujah, delight in your law. Are you the I person? Say, but I delight in your law. It says, it is good for me that I have been afflicted. Can you say that? It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Most people don't want to, would never agree to that or say, yes, that is the case. But it says, that I might learn your statutes. Hallelujah. Listen to what the writer says. He says, that I, it's good that I've been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law from your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Hmm? See, the gold and the silver pieces, they're temporal the things that are seen, hallelujah, the things that are seen, the things that you handle, the things that you touch, hallelujah. God is looking for us to trust him above the material things. The gold and the silver is not our source. In the, especially in the e e eternal realm, it's not our source. And we have to be mindful. Listen, he says the law, hallelujah, verse 72, the law from your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver. What's more important? God's word. Huh? Your hand, verse 73, have made me cunning, fashioned, and established me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandment. Holy Spirit, Touch my mind, my heart. Give me understanding. Father God, thank you for the Holy Spirit leading and guiding me in all truth. In the name of Jesus. Those who reverently and worshipfully fear, you will see me and be glad. Because I hoped in your word and tarried for it. Spend time in God's word. Hope. Our hope is in Christ Jesus. It's a living hope. It's a lively hope. It's a hope. If fate is not away, it's a hope that's reserved in heaven for us. Amen. Verse 75. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right and righteous, and that is faithfulness. You have afflicted me, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right and righteous, and that in what faithfulness you have afflicted me. Hmm? Can you can you trust God in the trying times? Can you look to God and say, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Can you look to God and say, you're still in control. I know I'm in this situation, but you haven't taken your hands off of me. You allowed me to grow through these challenges. Hallelujah. But I'm trusting you. I will put all my trust in you. Let Hallelujah, I pray you, your merciful kindness and steadfast love be for my comfort. 
according to your promise to your servant. He's given us a promise. Hallelujah. You have to know what the promise is. You read God's word, you study God's word, and then you stand on the promises of God. You remember they used to sing that song? Standing on the promises of God my Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're standing on the promises. You're not hanging. Standing. Hallelujah on the promises. Let your tender mercies and loving kindness come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I, hallelujah, will meditate on your precepts. So when the challenges come, praise be to God, when all kinds of things begin to challenge your life, I don't know what it might be. It says that the proud be put to shame for they dealt perversely with, hallelujah, out of cause. But I will meditate on your precepts. The answer is, through all the challenges that we will face, is to do what? What did, what did they do? He says, I will meditate on your precepts. Huh? Let the proud be put to shame. For they have dealt perversely. What did they do? They dealt perversely with me without a cause. That is going to happen into each life some rain must fall. Listen, but I, what will you do when these challenges come? When people, hallelujah, begin to accuse you and, and begin to try to afflict you with pain and hurt. What do you do? Meditate on God's word. He says, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who reverently and worshipfully fear, let those who reverently and worshipfully fear you turn to me and those who have known your testimonies. Let my heart be sound, sincere and wholehearted and blameless in your statutes that I may not be put to shame. My soul languishes and grows faint for your salvation, but I hope in what? Your word. My eyes fell watching for the fulfillment of your promise. I say, when will I, hallelujah, when will you comfort me? For, look at the verse, don't, don't we feel this way at times? Listen, I read it again. My eyes fell, watching for the fulfillment of your promise. Listen to what the writer says. I say, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a bottle in wineskins, blackened and shoveled in the smoke in which it hangs. Yet do I not forget your statutes. Hmm? You're going, you, you said you're going through something? Learn how to grow through it. Hallelujah. Listen to what he says. For I have become like a bottle, a wineskin, blackened and shoveled in the smoke in which it hangs. Yet, what does he do? What does he do? Yet I, yet do I not forget your statutes. Some of you feel that way right now. Some of you are struggling. Some of you have some major things going on in your life and you feel all alone and you feel depressed and you feel sick and you want to give up. You want to quit. You're thinking about ending life. Satan is a liar. Hallelujah. It says, yet do I not forget your statutes. Notice what he says. With all these challenges that he's facing, what does he do? He goes to the word. He finds out what God's word says. And that's the key. That's the key today is that you know what God has already said. Or you go to the source. You find out what God is saying. Hallelujah. As you deal with these situations and circumstances and it just feels, you feel so overwhelmed. Yet do I not forget your statutes. Forget. That means that you have had to remember at some point. You you, you would have had a, 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 to have studied God's word and meditated on God's word in order 
for you to now remember what he says. Listen, my eyes fell watching for the fulfillment of your promises. I say, when will you come for me? Have you ever said that? Have you ever, some of you are saying it right now. For I have become like a bottle and a wineskin blackened and shoveled in the smoke in which it hangs. Yet do I what? Not forget your statutes. If you don't read, if you don't study, if you're not hearing, you're not going to have anything to stand on. We're standing on the promises of God. The promises of God is his word. It says, how many are the days of your servant? which he must endure. When will you judge those who pursue and persecute me? The godless and arrogant have dug pitfalls for me. Men who do not conform to your laws. All your commandments are faithful and sure. The godless pursue and persecute me with falsehood. Help me, Lord. Call on the Lord. Help me, Lord. Some of you feel this way right now. Call on the Lord. Help me, Lord. Verse 87. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not your precepts. Notice he goes back to the word. Go back to what God is saying. You have to know what God is saying. You have to read what God is saying. Because the challenges and the storms, if they have not already come, they are coming. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. What's in you? The word of God. The word of God has said that have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. That same word abides within our hearts, mind, body, and soul when we read and when we study and when we pray. It says, according to your steadfast love, give life to me when I will keep the testimony of your mouth, hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying it. I'll read it again. Verse 88 of Psalm 119. According to your steadfast love, give me life. When I will keep the testimony of your mouth, hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying. Again, I'll read it again. According to your steadfast love, give life to me. And then I will keep the testimony of your mouth, hearing, receiving, loving and obeying it. Verse 89, forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Stand firm as the heavens. Your word stands firm as the heavens. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Stands firm as the heavens. Your faithfulness is from generation to generation you have established the earth and it stands fast. Praise be to God. All the whole universe are yours servants. Therefore, they continue this day according to your ordinance. I'll read it again. Starting at the 90th verse, it says, your faithfulness is from generation to generation. Your faithfulness is from generation to generation. Your faithfulness is from generation to generation. You have established the earth, and it stands fast. You have established the earth, and it stands fast. All the whole universe are yours, servants. All the whole universe are your servants. All the whole universe are your servants. How about that? Therefore, they continue this day according to your ordinance. You can find Jeremiah 33 and 25. And verse 92 says, unless your law had been my delight, I have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts. How can I? For it is by them you have quickened me, granted me life. I am yours, therefore save me, your own, for I have sought, inquired of, and for your precepts, and required them as my urgent need. I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible. Praise be to God. 
is just awesome. And look at verse 95. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. But I will consider your testimonies. You have to have something to stand on. As an enemy, how did he come against you as a flood? God raises up a standard against him. You have to know what God says about you. You have to know who God is. You have to know what he promised. He promised to never leave you or forsake you. He promised to be with you always, even until the end of time, the end of the age. But you got to know what God's word is saying. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen that everything human has its limits and end. And no matter how extensive, noble, or excellent, but your commandment is exceedingly broad and extends without limits into eternity. How about that? I have seen that everything human has its limits and end. No matter how extensive, no matter how noble, no matter how excellent, but your commandment is exceedingly broad and extends without limit, hallelujah, into eternity. Go to Romans 3, 10 through 19 and read that. Hallelujah. Listen at this one. Verse 97. Oh, how I love. Oh, how I love. Oh, how love I your law. Oh, how. Hallelujah. I love your law. It is my meditation all the days. We're going to stop there. It is my meditation all the days. It, it, I love your law. It is my meditation every day, all day. Father God, we just thank you for your word. Your word will not return to you void, but will accomplish everything you sent it forth. Accomplish. We thank you for those who would read your word, study your word. There's so much good word is going uh, 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 forth today, this Sunday. But we just pray that you would just move mightily upon the hearts of the people. We also would want you to pray for my wife. She, uh, her mother passed away, uh, and uh, we just pray for the family that they would be strengthened in this time of need. Uh, Mama George, I call her Mama George. She was my mother-in-law. Hallelujah. And uh, we are missing her. Praise be to God. Uh, we pray that God will uh, continue to strengthen the family because when you have these challenges, it is it 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 it, it is hurtful. It it, it 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 challenges your every being when you lose a loved one, and that's when you got you have to trust God. Greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. We are more than conquerors. Conquerors over what? Over this sorrow, over this pain, over this hurt, because we remember what God's word says. He promised to never leave you or forsake you. He promised to be with us always, even until the end of the age. And we also pray, hallelujah, that this is not it. The Bible says if this earthly house of this tabernacle was to dissolve, we have another building, a house not made with hands, <laughs> eternal in the heavens. So we're just excited about what God is doing right now. In spite of the fact that sorrow is trying to consume our lives, we go to the word. His word will never return to him void, but will accomplish everything he sent it forth to accomplish. There might be others who have lost loved ones. There might be other ones who are hurting right now. But we pray the peace of God, Jehovah Shalom, peace of God over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you. We give you all the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' mighty, precious name. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. We thank you.